Well, certainly I love doing the spiders because that was a good few days of just stabbing imaginary uh, creatures, just stabbing the air very ferociously um, and clambering about over trees and climbing up. So, I, yeah, I loved that. I really liked it. The dragon, of course, was great fun. It, it's technical because all you, you know, it's all cheated eye lines and it's all you know lines being read in and you not actually seeing anything or hearing the character's voice, but. They're great scenes, you know, you know that as you do them, the stakes are high, it's really, really important stuff that you're playing, so you know it'll look, you know, it's Peter Jackson, it's going to look good. Um, Barrels was great, great fun. Uh, yeah, it's like, it. the more you remember it, there's this, these huge kind of set pieces that are in this film that most, most films would want to have one of those, you know, and we've got about five, you know. He's really surpassed himself, I think. Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, when you're on a new set, you know, the sets are the best things I've ever seen, you know, whether it's Mirkwood or Lake Town or this set, you know, Smaug's Lair. Um, I've never seen anything like that. And so, you know, all the actors would wander around for the first day just going, Jesus Christ, have you seen it? This is just, and seeing bits that they've made, painstakingly crafted. And then a few days later, you, are used to that and then you want the next one, you know, and then you want the next one and, and when you're on location in New Zealand, the landscape is so beautiful, you, yeah, you feel very, uh, very lucky to have that. But then equally, you're spending a lot of days just in front of a green wall looking at tennis balls, so, you know, it swings and roundabouts. I, um, yeah, you get some of that. I mean, I get I get a bit of that when I travel. But actually, I think because I don't, I don't know. I, th I think unless you know me anyway, I don't think I look particularly like Bilbo. Do you know what I mean? So I, I don't, without the ears and the feet and the wig, I, I'm fairly unmolested. You know, when I'm around and about, so that, that's cool for me. You know. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. I, mean, I, I really like it. I think it's a good, like, it's a good film. It's a good, big, epic film. Uh, I hope they like it. I think it's probably better than the last one. I know, but it's so perfect. Because I saw another film recently that I won't name, but it's a very popular film and it's a popular sequel, the first of which I loved. But yeah, when this one ends, I'm like, no, no, I'm not having that at all. Whereas this, I see, I think is a proper cliffhanger. It makes you go, ah, ah as opposed to, huh? And that's the face I did on this other film, huh? And that's not the face you want. I do, I don't want to be bored and I don't want to be boring, you know, and, and I think it's very easy if you're doing the same take 20 times exactly the same way with no change in intonation or anything. Life is way too short to do that, you know what I mean? Uh, so, you know, I'd much rather play, you know, it's why I got into acting in the first place. <coughs> to play and have fun and discover how this character thinks about something. And sometimes you can't pre-plan what a character thinks. It's that old phrase, how do I know what I think until I hear what I say? <clears throat> and you can plan what the character, how we're gonna say it, whatever, in your bathroom at home you know, the night before, but actually until you just try something, and you think, oh, that, that, that's the key to this scene, actually, and I never knew that until it comes out of your mouth, you know? So just, yeah, play, playing with it is much more fun, and I think a lot more effective in my case, anyway.